Hi everybody, I'm Girl Writes What, and I wanted to do just kind of an off-the-cuff video response to uh, Stardust's video, Our Bias Against Men Even Within the MRM. And uh, that was a video that he made in response to, uh, he posted in response to my Men Not Marrying video. And in it he kind of examines uh, some things that I think we all need to be aware of in this movement, uh, one of which is that uh, there seems to be, even here, uh, sort of a systemic bias uh, against men or in favor of women. I guess it's it's really six of one, half a dozen of the other, um, when you put it that way. But um, uh, it is really a pervasive problem uh, that we have to deal with as a movement, is the automatic own group preference that women uh, are able to exercise uh, toward other women and uh, and men's complete lack of of that mechanism. Um, in fact, uh, study after study seems to have shown that both men and women prefer women. And uh, I think this is not something that we're going to change on a social level uh, or a cultural level because, frankly, when you think about the roles that men have had to have through history, um, you know, even going back a couple million years, uh, when males had to compete against other males, uh, often quite violently, uh, for a shot at mating. And, uh, and when you think after uh, the evolution of our social roles and, and, and sort of that gender dimorphism as far as our roles went, uh, a lot of the male role involved bashing other men on the head, bashing their brains out to protect women. And I think it would just be psychologically impossible for men to have ever done that as their job, as their expected role, if they had a mechanism wherein they automatically preferred their own gender over the other. So I, I really don't think that this is a problem that's ever going to go away, and it's one of the reasons why I think it's just so important that we have female voices in this movement, uh, as long as we can trust them to not be working in their own self-interest. and. Uh, I also wanted to just kind of, because he listed off uh, a few of my, my favorite YouTubers, uh, Barbarossa, Paul Elam, um, Rock and Mystery, and Man, Woman, Myth, and, uh, and all of them, I enjoy all of their videos, and often I kind of take a, a piece of one and then a piece of the other, and I kind of put them all together and, and do a video of my own. So, I mean, these are all men that I deeply, deeply respect. And, uh, and I have uh, a lot of, uh, of I, I get a lot of information from them. And uh, so it, it really does bother me that after not even, I guess, maybe six months, I have more subscribers than they do. And this is not to chide uh, my viewers for subscribing to me because I, I want subscribers. But but it really is a shame that those voices, some I mean, Rock and Mystery's been on here since, like, for five years, at least, um, that, that he does not have the viewership that I have. And, uh, and, and that, I guess that's, that's part of why I'm so committed to doing this, is because I understand where a lot of my popularity comes from. Uh, a lot of it is just in mainstream appeal. Uh, and, and frankly, when I look at the one big jump I had in subscribers, I think I got like a thousand subscribers in 24 hours. That wasn't, uh, those subscribers did not come from MRM spaces. They came from a mainstream subreddit on Reddit called R Videos. And someone had posted uh, my video, Feminism and the Disposable Male, with the heading, This Video Changed the Way I See Gender. And I think probably a lot of those thousand subscribers that I got out of that so quickly, these were not people that n knew a whole lot about men's rights. They, they were people that maybe were just regular blue pill people. Uh, who had never really thought about uh, gender issues, uh, certainly not from the angle that I look at them from. And uh, so, I mean, these are mainstream blue pill people. 
And uh, that's, I think, the, the purpose that I can serve, uh, hopefully, in, in, by doing these videos uh, and by being female, is that I can bring in viewers who would otherwise just go, if you were a man saying this, I would have just written it off. And I've, I've had a lot of messages saying and comments saying, if you were a man, I would have just stopped listening and written it off. And so I think, and I've also had other people say, you're the Bill Nye of the men's rights movement, which as annoying as Bill Nye is, uh, he does serve a purpose as far as introducing science to uh, kids who might otherwise not be interested in it. And that's hopefully what I can do uh, for the men's rights movement, is introduce it in a non-threatening context that appeals to the blue pill public that will kind of wake them up and make them look at things from another perspective, another point of view. So, and then hopefully I can get them to watch all of Barbarossa's wonderful videos and all of uh, all the entire Man Woman Myth series, which is just stunning and just beautifully produced and extremely based in fact. So that's what I'm hoping to, to really do. That's the role that I'm hoping to play. And, and the fact that I'm a woman, I, I totally get that that's part of the reason why people like me so much. So there's that. And, uh, and there's also that, that I'm not really sure that the bias that Stardust sees is actually within the MRM. I think maybe it's, it's uh, that mainstream uh, people just kind of stumbled across my videos and went, wow. And uh, because I'm a woman, they just were more open to to even just listening. So, yeah. Now, another thing he mentioned, um, which just kind of made me smile, was that he, he was wondering if maybe I'm just wired uh, a little bit more like a man than like a woman. And and I would have to say that that's probably true, um, right from the time that I was little, and uh, it, it definitely plays out now. I've even uh, just I I see examples of uh, that in the way people interact with me. Um, I mean, I even get asked uh, by female servers where I work if I will walk them to their car at night. Now, this always strikes me as just hilarious because, number one, like, your car is, what, 40 feet away within plain view of the windows. I know it's not the nicest part of town, but what do you think is going to happen to you in the 18 seconds it takes you to walk that? And number two, if you're in danger because you're a woman, and you need somebody to walk you to your car because you're a woman, what the fuck am I supposed to do on the trip back to the restaurant or on the trip from your car that's parked out front to my car that's parked in the back by the dumpster? Like, who's there to protect me, right? Which, I mean, like, it, it just, it strikes me as odd that they would ask me to do that. But they do. And, uh, and... Even when I was crying at work, uh, I, I had just had a family friend die and uh, and I, I was having a rough time and I'm trying to do m the last of my work, finish my shift, and one of the guys, who is the most chivalrous guy out there, uh, if a waitress is crying, he's right there, who upset you? I'm going to go kick his ass. And he he noticed that I was crying and he gets this look of horror on his face, like, oh my god, like she's crying and and he just kind of mumbled something like it's okay man under his breath and and ran the other way like he just he was made so uncomfortable by that because I was not behaving the way I usually behave so I think there's definitely a lot to uh Stardust, Stardust's uh speculation that I'm I'm wired like a guy uh I definitely definitely uh seem to be able to view these issues from a guy perspective perspective and I and I absolutely uh oddly enough I don't have any kind of gender preference at all uh it, it I I don't favor either one 
uh, that, that I've noticed. So, um, so there you go. I also wanted to, while I'm, while I'm here, while I'm on camera, I wanted to mention, um, cases and materials. The young man who managed to pester me enough to make a response to his, uh, subpar video response to one of mine. Um, now, it's come to my attention that the response he made to my response to his response, um, which I think I only watched about 45 seconds of it, and then by the sixth ad hominem I, I was just like done with it. Uh, I, I'm not going to waste my time on this. Um, that video was flagged as abusive and uh, had to be taken down and then I guess he put up a mirror of it and and that had to be removed as well and he's posted it elsewhere on the internet I think he put a link to it uh, where he posted it on another website and he is pissed and frankly I, I don't know that I blame him um, you know he seems to be more mad at me uh, now, or he, he was more mad at me after I made him the response that he was demanding. Uh, so he, he made this other huge, uh, ridiculous video that I, I've heard about it, but I haven't really watched it. And, uh, and he's mad that his voice was silenced. And frankly, I, I, I really don't condone, uh, him having to take that down. I, I think that, uh, Everybody should have a chance to say what they want to say, even if they're being stupid or they're being jerks. And uh, and so, you know, if we want to, if we want to stay true to uh, sort of a an ethic of of free speech, then then really that kind of thing it just it bothers me. And on top of that, when <laughs> when people go and watch a video like that. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot to discredit me. It, it discredits the person who makes a video that apparently has nothing relevant to say other than ad hominems and stupid visual jokes of superimposed poop over my mouth or whatever the hell. So I would have been perfectly happy to let that video stand on YouTube and kind of give everybody else out there uh, a look at what my most vehement detractors are like and uh, and so I'm kind of bummed out and disappointed that it got taken down but uh, yeah because even if you're a jerk and even if you're stupid you should be able to say your piece so anyway how I uh, I just wanted to just kind of do a, a quick one um, it didn't turn out to be quite so quick but uh, and I got other things to do, so I am out of here. See you later.